my name is Ali Reza and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to locate the ligand counter coordination uh, in the uh, uh, visual molecular dynamic. Uh, I have a, a molecular dynamic results of Grumax uh, ligand, ligand and receptor for 100 nanoseconds uh, simulation and I'm going to show you how to locate the ligand in this uh, simulation. Uh, before anything, we need uh, VMD uh, an evasion. Uh, you can download it for free. I'm going to file new molecules and browse the, the uh, molecular dynamic results. Uh, we need two files uh, which are needed to be loaded into the VMD uh, one with grow.grow .grow format and one with XTC open the XTC file or okay grow there's no difference uh, which one is first but uh, do not forget to upload the other uh, format onto the first one I mean if you uh, close this and open new file a second file will not load into the dot grow file and isn't it is not working so I'm going to browse with the same pop-up windows or just right click and uh, load data into the molecules okay the same uh, pop-up window will now open I'm going to browse and uh, XTC file I'm going to load it the loading is gonna take a um, couple of minutes so I'm going to pause the video and resume it okay uh, after the, we have finished loading the uh, uh, the grow file and that XTC file format into the VMD, now we can uh, do some uh, representation man manipulation, uh, graphics representations, so presentations, and I'm and we can see the one layer here, the size lines and selection R. It, uh, it means that we have all the complex water um, uh, elements like sodium and potassium in here uh, uh, along with our protein and ligands. Uh, I'm going to create another representation and another layer I named protein. And uh, for seeing the ligand, I just need to, uh, we need the residue name. So I'm going to see what is my uh, ligand res name. I'm going to find my lig.grow and see it with a, a notepad. Okay. Uh, LIG with capital name is the rest name for the ligand. I am going to make another rep and rest name. Delete. Okay, so as you uh, let me delete this layer and show you again. Uh, please uh, see this the location of the ligand here when I type the rest name lig here the ligand is present in here I can change the uh, a method of uh, represent representation of the ligand here I can um, uh, let me change the protein uh, bring it in here uh, we won okay now the ligand can be seen in this location I can change the ligand in here mm. you can change it to uh, what whatever you want this here is mm. uh, Okay, uh, we can use this uh, code even to find a, a specific interactive protein, uh, amino acid residues with the ligand. Uh, 
some in, for presentation in the manuscript for for that I can't uh, see the presentation like this for protein representation or amino acid residues representation in the protein we can uh, we can write a keyboard or we can uh, use this uh, pre-existed performance in here If I be a protein, let me see the protein and uh, residue. Number three. Okay, now we have uh, protein and residue three. It represents, or uh, let me show you. Uh, the third amino acid in is aspartame. So now we have it in here. We can change its color or draw its drawing style. If I be able to change its color, so we can see it more better. Okay. As you can see, the aspartame tree is located there. Uh, if we know the uh, structure of the protein and its interactive residues in the active site, we can uh, we can use them to uh, to create a more representative image of this interaction at a specific time point of the molecular dynamic simulation. Uh, there are so many other uh, selection in these uh, keywords and single words in uh, this in this ribbon of VMD that we can use to uh, analyze or complex more carefully. So I hope you enjoyed the, this video and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to like and goodbye.